Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck Opeechee Platinum Hockey. Eight box, pick your team number seven. With a free box being given away if you uh, follow the instructions right here. No vet common ship, everything else does. Very big, and it's from a fresh master case as well. Big thanks to everybody right here for getting in on pick your team number seven here on a Sunday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday night with us. That's Sunday Night Football on the background as well. Steve Wright, Double Last Spot Mojo, Blackhawks, and Canucks. So big thanks to him for knocking out those last two teams. Has the Last Spot Mojo star next to his name. Let's pop this case open. Let's see which inner case we are going to do. Right, we're going to select a die first. We'll select that one. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. Six. So we'll do the right side here. And this will save for Pigger Team 8 next time. There you go. Pigger Team 8. This inner case open. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. I know we're a little bit behind schedule, but keep an eye on the schedule. We'll be doing the uh, the hit packs after this. Actually, let me just do it, just adjust the schedule right now. So this break will take about an hour. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get to everything. All right, David saying, let's get some nice autos. Well, you're gonna have to tell me if I'm getting if I'm pulling nice autos because uh, my hockey knowledge is not is not super strong. So you'll have to let me know. So we're looking for one hard signed autograph per box in this platinum, and there's always a ton of uh, there's always a ton of fun parallels in here too. What do we have going on? What's going on hockey wise tonight? I think the Kings winning streak finally broken up by the Jets yesterday. Jets beat the Kings 3-2 in overtime. Today, on Sunday, what do we got? We got, a, we got finals here. Calgary shut out the Senators in Ottawa 4-0. Calgary improving to eight wins on the season. Ducks, uh, Ducks edged out the Canucks. Or no, they're edging out the Canucks right now. Oh, that's the only final. Flame centers are the only final. 4 nothing. Ducks are ahead of the Canucks in the second period, 2-1. At the end of the second, Oilers leading the Blues, 4-2. In third period, Capitals leading the Penguins, 5-1. The third period, Devils-Rangers tied at 2. And kind of near the beginning of the third period, Canadiens leading the Bruins, 2-1. Really love that uh, that so many of these games are on ESPN. Almost, I think all of the games are on ESPN Plus. I'm getting some TNT attention as well, which I really dig. So, all 
I really like that hockey is getting a lot more exposure, and I think that's definitely going to help um, hockey collectors as well, especially in terms of the secondary market. We saw this with we saw this with Formula One. You know, we had a lot lot more Formula One content on Netflix. Put a little put more attention on Formula One. People started paying attention more to Formula One. Started collecting more Formula One, and that. So the difference between last year and this year is, is pretty huge. We may, we hopefully can see another jump in hockey with this uh, with, with ESPN involved. There's yellow tracks, 249. Nick Schmaltz, that's for Arizona. That'll be for David, uh, a, da a different David B. Bacanis. We got a Vaterino and a Bacanis here. We've got a Dylan Coughlin, rookie silver for Vegas, or rookie rainbow. Clayton Keller, Matt Pink, those are not numbered. There's a sunset parallel, marquee rookie sunset. Really like the sunset parallels here. I think those look pretty sharp. Chris Letang to 4.99 Aquamarine for the Penguins. There's Mikey Anderson, Marquee Rookies Rainbow, JT Miller, Arctic Freeze to 99 for Vancouver. It's going to go to Steve Wright. The Mikey Anderson Rainbow will go to Rick Thomas and the Kings. And David Banerino has the uh, has the Penguins. Morgan Riley, Sunset Parallel. And there's our autograph, Jake Evans, rookie auto. For Montreal, Rick Thomas and the Canadiens. 49 out of 50 on that red prism. All right, that was box one. Next box. Got my Raiders on in the background here. Sunday night football. Games tied 7-7. Kansas City's driving. going on in hockey. Capital signed forward Dowd to a three-year extension. Crosby back from the COVID-19 list. Plays versus the Caps. Canucks Pullman gets a two-game high-sticking ban. Like Senators are dealing with some COVID protocol issues. NHL Ice a Skills event on the Vegas Strip. Sounds like fun. The NHL, according to ESPN, the NHL is in talks with Las Vegas officials about holding two new All-Star Game Skills competition events outdoors on the Las Vegas Strip. Ooh. The executives were in Vegas this week to present the plan to the city officials, local police, and at least one hotel, the Bellagio. The 2022 NHL All-Star Skills Competition is for Friday, February 4th, and the game itself will be on the 5th, T-Mobile Arena. Ooh, that should be that should be pretty fun. Um, there's Vitaly 
Kravstov, 007 out of 149. The All-Star game was here in L.A. a few years ago or something like that. We actually, Jason Jaspi was actually there doing some breaks live from the All-Star game. Here's Connor McDavid, which was a lot of fun. I visited, hung out there for a little bit, got to see all sorts of different things there. And a marquee rookie, Alexi Lafreniere, rainbow. Nice. Rangers. It's going to go to Walter. And the rookie autograph is, is Calvin Thurkoff. Rookie auto for Columbus. That's going to go to, um, it's going to go to Andrew, Deonda. There you go, Andrew. Oh, skill competition is pretty fun. Good. The Raiders held the Chiefs to a field goal. There's Anthony Angelo. Blue rainbow to 149. we got a Seth Jones. Aquamarine to 499. Yeah, it is pretty loud in that stadium. Yeah, I think I think I think Las Vegas has has adopted has have adopted the Raiders pretty qu pretty quickly. I think in the years leading up to that stadium, as the stadium was being built, like every other mall has a Raiders team shop there, so they really laid a lot of groundwork there. And every time I'd visit, you know, there'll be you know, a lot of cars and a lot of cars and trucks with like Raider stickers, you know, on the back, and a lot of people wearing Raiders gear. Not too far from LA, so I think there's a lot of people, a lot of a lot of Raiders fans still in LA. So I think it doesn't take much to convince people to go to Vegas to go see a football game. And I think the stadium is the stadium sponsor Allegiant. It's like a small airline. I don't know. I've never flown it, but um, but it's a small airline, and I think they're I think they're based out of the Bay Area, and so I know they have pretty pretty inexpensive flights to and from Vegas from Oakland too. So they've they've made it kind of easy for 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 traveling. So I think they'll they'll get some Raiders fans in there. It's a little di little different from L.A. Or even for Rams games, you might you might still see. No, Rams is Rams have gotten a little bit better. I think the Chargers definitely struggle in here in Los Angeles to to get a lot of their own fans in there, especially if there's a popular road team in town. King saying they they fly to Stockton as well. There you go. I wonder what those. I wonder what those flights are like after, well, after a loss. But what if after a big win, those flights must be crazy. It's marquee rookies rainbow. Thomas Harley, Dylan Strom, blue rainbow to one forty nine. There you go, Kenyon. Matt Duchesne, Sunset, Connor McDavid for Edmonton. That's going to go to Sean Maddox. The Thomas Harley Rainbows for Dallas. That'll be for David Rodriguez. And the Dylan Strom for Chicago, by the way. That'll go to Steve Wright. Right, yeah. And with not a lot of pro, with only two pro teams in Vegas, it's they'll definitely be filling up the stadium, especially on a on a Sunday night, sort of a marquee game with, with a division opponent. 
And there's Vitek Vanacek rookie autographs for the Capitals. That's going to go to Steve Birch in Washington. And Booney was saying, Boone Brism was saying, are their Warriors Hornet teams going to be close? I didn't realize that. Are they playing tonight? We got Alexander Yelisin, blue rainbow to 149 for Calgary. That is that's going to be for David Batterino. Box. What's up, Mike Tower? Mike saying many years ago when UNLV was in the NCAA, I think that the Vegas Sportsbook couldn't take action on the game. Yeah, I actually don't remember that. If they if they did or not. But now I I mean I think they're I think they're more than happy to take action on the Raiders and the and the Golden Knights. I don't know, maybe with collegiate sports that was more of an issue, maybe I guess with students being involved. Remember, uh, the other inner case in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. When the game ends in a tie, like the Lions, does the betting still count? Yes. I think the Lions were plus nine. So people who had Lions plus nine would win. Who's this? That is, that's Willie Brown. Okay, well, that's what I thought. Willie Brown. Willie Brown. Let's let's number. What is he? Twenty-four. The original twenty-four. The original twenty-four. Yeah. There you go. Willie Brown was the original twenty-four. He was also a cornerback. So. I don't know what happens with the money line. I want. I don't. If it's a tie, I think does everyone get refunded, or is it does it consider a loss? There's Sergey Bobrovsky, fifteen out of fifty, seismic gold for Florida. That's going to be for David. I want that Sidney Crosby rainbow there for Pittsburgh, David Batterino. Marquee Rookie Rainbow, Tim Stutzel, for Ottawa, Steve Birch. There's Philippe Myers for the Flyers. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci in Philadelphia. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what happens with the money line. I don't know how the, how the, the books would grade that. My guess is that it would be a push. And so everyone would get their money refunded there. It could depend on the sports book, Husky. Yeah, you're right there too. But since they don't offer 
since they don't, it's not like soccer where they offer win, lose, and draw, right? 89 out of 99, Arctic freeze. So since they don't offer a draw, that would be a push for most books, I would think. Check your local sports books. To see how they handle that. Marquee rookie sunset for New Jersey. That's going to be for David. Uh, Yegor Sharon Govich. That nah, wasn't that bad. I think I got close. Close enough. Philip Forsberg, Aquamarine to 499. All right, we are halfway through this uh, inner case break. Next four boxes. Good luck. Got about another 20 minutes or so here. Ooh, third and seven. This is huge. Let's go Raiders defense. Get loud. Oh, oh. Ah. David says it's a push. There you go. Thank you, David. Yeah, if it, I think that also depends on how the book handles parlays. But for most places, like if you had a five-team parlay and, and that Lions-Pittsburgh game was one of them, it just turns into a four-team parlay. So then the odds adjust based off of that. I have no idea, Mike Tower, <laughs> if there are any any big autos. I know I haven't seen a Le Alexi Lafreniere auto, but there's been no commentary on any of the autos that I've that I've uh, pulled. So my guess is there hasn't been anything huge in the first half of this inner case. All right, right. David concurs on that parlay thing. All right, Brandon Hagel, Blue Rainbow, 101 out of 149. That'll be for Chicago, Steve Wright. Yeah, folks, my hockey knowledge is not super strong, so you're gonna have to let me know if we've, if we've hit anything big or not. Seth Jones, Sunset. And there's Oli Uelvi. You will leave Ollie for Vancouver. That's going to go to Steve Wright. Last spot mojo strikes again. And we'll do a we'll do a recap at the end here too, an autograph recap. Got a base Alexi Lafreniere. Dustin Brown for the Kings. Blue Rainbow to 149. That's for Rick. And the Kings. Another King. Rookie Rainbow. Marquee Rookie Rainbow. Arthur Kale uh, Kaliev. Kaliev. I like those purple and gold Kings uniforms there too. Marquee Rookie Sunset, that's Nick Robertson. And uh, Miko Ratanian, 17 out of 25 Orange Checkers. I like that pattern. 
Nice little jaspy orange color there too. That's for Colorado. That'll go to Sean Maddock. All right, three boxes to go. Might want to guard number 87, Raiders. Ooh, that's not a first down. Fourth down, fourth down. Fourth down. Yeah, that was a weird game in, in Green Bay. I, th I feel like there was there was a lot of snow. The grass didn't look like there was too much snow on it. Maybe they cleared it, but it seemed to be snow flurries. I mean, it was a 3 nothing game all the way until the fourth quarter. Next box. We got a Cosmic to 65. There's Arthur again for Rick and the Kings. There's a McDavid best in the world insert. Yeah, he's pretty good. There's a Pierre Olivier Joseph. Marquee rookie rainbow. That'll be for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to David Batterino. And Jake Evans is your rookie autograph for the Canadiens. That'll be for Rick and Montreal. I know, I'm watching out for those Arctic Freeze parallels. These hot hands. Can't get cold. There's Cosmic to 65. I mean, I don't, do, I, do I not like the cold? I'd rather prefer to be cold than, than hot. There's Violet Pixel three nine to three ninety nine. Yes, for Brat for uh, New Jersey. It'll be for David. Stephen Lorenz, Marquee Rookie Sunset for Carolina. That'll be for Steve Wright. Marquee Rookies Rainbow. That's Brandon Hagel for Chicago. That'll be for Steve Wright.
for Chicago Coal over Phoenix. I've never been in Chicago Coal, so I don't know. I kind of meant like, like here in Los Angeles, I'd rather prefer it to be a little bit cooler, i.e. 65 degrees, than hotter, i.e. 90 degrees. No, you're talking about extreme weather conditions. I don't like that. But if I was taking cold, I would prefer, I guess I've never been in Chicago, I would prefer like more of a, a desert cold. I like that sort of dry desert cold, like in Vegas in the winter. You know, it could, it could get down to like 30 some odd degrees, but it will usually be and it should be pretty dry. And I guess the dry Vegas or Phoenix heat is probably preferable to like humidity. I have been to like Florida where the humidity is just crazy. Or Houston. I don't know, people live in humidity. There's marquee rookies, Josh Norris to 499, Aquamarine. Yeah, you would think, Gila, that they would, would kind of keep an eye on Tyreek Hill. Come on, Raiders. There's Ottawa. Josh Norris. It's, a, it's just a different insert there. Mark Stone, Sunset. And we have a rookie autograph, Gustav Lindstrom for Detroit. That's going to go to Andrew, Motor City. You went to a wedding in Phoenix and a dinner at a Mexican restaurant where they brought an umbrella stand here when it got to be nighttime? I guess depending on what time of year, it can get, for there anyway, it can, it can get pretty crisp. It could get pretty cool in the evening. Yellow Tracks, 249. Peyton Krebs, Marquee Rookies, Rainbow. It's for Vegas, that's gonna go to David. And we've got a Josh Bailey. And Alexi Lafreniere, Violet Pixels, 378 out of 399 for the Islanders. The other David, David Batterino. And it's Walter with the Alexi Lafreniere marquee rookies, just base. Isn't it still pretty? I don't know. I haven't been to Phoenix in September, October. It still get pretty warm in the evening, I thought. All right, eighth and final box here, Opeechee Platinum Hockey. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Wow, the Bruins exploded for four goals in the third period. And now they're up 5-2 on the Canadians. 
Five minutes left in the third period. 3-2 Rangers. Four minutes left in the third in the game. 4-4 four, four, tie between the Oilers and the Blues. Last scoring updates. Almost at the end of the second period, Ducks still up 3-1 on the Canucks. And the uh, Capitals game is the final. They're, they won 6-1. Let's see if the Raiders can do anything in the last minute 30. Would be nice. Maybe get a quick score and get the ball back to start the second half. No, that's not going to do it. There's a Ryan McLeod. Blue rainbow to 149 for Edmonton. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. And an Anthony Angelo rookie card, rainbow, for David Batterino. Jonathan Quick, Sunset. Michael DiPetro, marquee rookie rainbow. That's for Vancouver. It's going to go to Steve Wright. Why not take a shot? Uh, I guess there's a minute left. Sean Monahan, 23 out of 199, red prism. That's for Calgary. That'll go to David Batterino. Marquee rookie rainbow, Connor Ingram for Nashville. Let's go to Michael Gallucci. Forty-eight out of ninety-nine, Matt Pink rookie autograph. That is Ty Smith for New Jersey. That'll be for David. And that should be that, ladies and gentlemen. Unless we've got a nice low number parallel here or something like that. Quinn Hughes. And Gustav Lindstrom will close things out. Quick little recap, little autograph recap, plus the Alexi Lafreniere's. And second half is in the store, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe Jaspi, and I'll see you next time for the next hockey break. Bye-bye.